electric blanket stops working. Maybe you have a light that flashes. It indicates that there's a break in the wire somewhere in that circuit. Now there are a few things you can check before you decide to buy a new one. And one of them is checking the power line going to the control. Now make sure you disconnect everything. You need one of these guys, a multimeter. You set it on continuity and you check between the two leads here. And there should be no continuity. Meaning when you touch this and this, you should not hear the beeping sound from your multimeter, which indicates they're separate individual lines. Now on the other end where it goes into to the electrical component here, these are the two wires coming in right here, these two. So what you do, do the same thing, continuity test on the two leads, you should not have continuity. Okay, that's one step. The next step is you gotta find out which one of these two is one of these two. So pick one and then pick one on this one and you have to have continuity. So one of these will match up to one of those and the other one will match up to the other one. So now you know that they are individually divided, separated from each other so there's no short between there, there's no break between there, if everything goes well. Now the next step, if that's good, that section, you gotta go to the next wire, which is the wire that goes to your blanket. Now you have four wires in here, and it comes to here, and you got four wires right there. Uh, the best way of doing this is trace those wires to the other side, find out which one of those silver solders are those. It's, it's pretty easy to find. Like for example, this one on the end here. See? It's, it's right there on the edge. So what you do is, is the same thing, continuity. Put one end here and put one end in one of these until you hear the beep that it's continuous, that it's working. And you do all four. If all four beep, that means this wire from here to this control is good. So now you got another thing out of the way. But if one of them does show that there is no continuity, then you know it's the wire. Uh, you got a couple of options. You can try to repair it if you can find where it is to break. Uh, sometimes it's obvious, like mine looks like my dog chewed through it. All right, but if not, your best bet is probably just replacing the whole uh, electric blanket. But let's say that everything works fine. This wire is good, powering this, this is good going to the blanket. The next step is to open up your blanket. And if you can just barely cut it, just enough to pull this cover out. And it's just one screw holding it. And these are what you're gonna, you're gonna find, two leads. These two right here. Now, one of them, one of these, is continuous to one of those. And the other one is continuous to the other one. So same thing, do a continuity test. One of those should be continuous to one of those. If you hear it beeping, say for example, this one beeps with this one, then you know that line is good. Now try this pin to this pin. If you don't hear anything, there's a break somewhere inside this line. The problem is when you look at your blanket, uh, the wires are going zigzag back and forth, back and forth, back and forth through the whole thing. And to open that up is almost impossible. Uh, so your best bet is to replace the whole blanket. Hopefully it's not in the blanket, but most likely that's where the breaks usually happen because it's a thin wire and you're sitting on it, laying on it, you're moving it all the time. Especially if you wash it, uh, you might have a break there. But sometimes it could be just in the wire feeding the system. That could be your problem. Now, another point to bring out is if you look at this right here, you have a fuse. That fuse sometimes might uh, pop. 
You might have to replace that. It's not an easy fuse to just, you know, take out and put in. You have to solder it. So if you don't know how to solder, you're out of luck. The other thing is sometimes something here burns out. You have to visually look at it carefully and see if there's any burnt marks to give you an indication that maybe one of the components is bad. It could be your capacitor. It could be your resistor. There's so many things that it could be, but if you see anything burnt, then there's another cause why that happened. So it's not even worth fixing. All right, I hope this gives you uh, an idea of how this works and maybe there is an easy fix. If it's just a crack or break in the wire, maybe you can just re, you know, do it, open it up, attach it, solder it, uh, insulate it again. But usually these electric blankets are known to break down easily if it gets abused, if it gets used a lot. And usually after like a 10 year period, uh, the components go bad. All right, thanks for watching and stay safe.